Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a bootable USB drive for updating or doing a fresh install of macOS Monterey onto your MacBooks or any other iMac or your Mac minis. Now do note, you do need a USB drive, minimum 16 GB. You are going to lose all the data which you have on the USB drive. So make sure you have a backup of that. And of course, all the relevant links are in the description of the video. So without any further delay, let us get down to business. First thing we need to do is we need to format our USB drive. So for that, we are going to go into applications. Let us first go into finder, applications, utilities, and then you will go into disk utility. Here in beside this desk utility, you have something called view. Tap on this arrow and make sure you have selected show all devices. Now here in you need to select your USB drive and you need to select the top level. Do not select the volumes, select the top level. Then we are going to erase this. And if you want to give it a title, you can give it any title which you want to and for your format it needs to be mac os extended journaled and scheme needs to be guid partition map so let us give this the name bootable and once you have done that you're going to say erase and there it is as you can see we're getting a message that erase process is complete click done to continue so now we're going to say done next thing we need is we need to download mac os monterey now i do have a link in the description of the video and as you can see this link is from apple's servers and this here is the latest version of mac os monterey at the time of recording this video which is 12.6.2 as in when we get new versions i will update the link in the description so all you need to do is select and click the link in the description of the video and that is going to download this install assistant package so i'm going to save it on my desktop and this here is the install assistant for mac os monterey and as you can see this is around 11.5 gb so it is going to take some time and you have to be patient now once the file has downloaded here is the file on our desktop all you need to do is double click on this and this is going to open up the mac os monterey installer we are going to say continue and it is telling me it will take 42.9 mb of space we are going to say install it is asking me for my admin password we are going to enter the password and then press install software now once this is done you will get the message that installation was successful now if you go into your applications folder you will see the monterey installer and here it is install mac os monterey app next thing you need to do is you need to right click on it or you can do control plus click if you do not have right click enabled go into show package contents go into contents then you will go into resources here and let me change the view to list and you need to look for this file which is called create install media this is the one you need to look for do not look for yosemite or the dynamic library you need to look for create install media next thing we need to do is we need to open terminal so let me open another finder window then we can go into applications then we can go into utilities and open the terminal application here in you will type sudo space and then drag and drop this create install media so that is plugged in the space is there then you will type hyphen hyphen volume space next thing we need to plug in the path of our usb drive so click anywhere on your home screen that is going to enable the menu on top we are going to select go then go to folder type in slash volumes with v in caps and then press the enter key so these are the different volumes and this is the one which we had created right bootable was the label which we had given it so we're going to just 
drag and drop this over here and the name has been plugged in successfully and then the next thing you need to do is press the enter key on your keyboard it is going to ask you for your admin password we are going to enter it now do note when you enter the password you will not see any characters or anything like that but the password is being entered and once you've successfully entered your password press the enter key and it is asking us that it will erase this volume do you want to continue so we're going to type in y and then press the enter key now it is erasing the disk and then the next thing it is going to do is create a bootable media which will then let you boot your macbook or your mac mini or whatever mac system you are using so that you can use this to install monterey on your mac and as you can see it is giving us the message making desk bootable and there it is you can see now we have the message copying to disk on our terminal and this progress bar will go from zero percent to hundred percent of course it will take some time so you have to be patient and there it is as you can see we are at 100 percent but we are still waiting for confirmation that the process has finished successfully so you have to be patient and please do not disconnect your usb drive from your macbook at this point and there it is we got the message that install media now available at volumes and it changed the name from whatever we had from bootable to install mac os monterey and there it is we have now successfully created a bootable usb drive which can be used to install or upgrade to mac os monterey on your macbooks and how do you boot your macbook using the bootable usb drive which you just created so with the usb drive still connected go ahead and restart your mac so we're going to select restart and then select restart one more time and as soon as the screen goes blank you press and hold the option key once you do that bam here it is you can see we are now getting the option of installing mac os monterey so if you choose this option you will now be booting from the usb drive which we just created